Hello everyone, welcome back. Now about Isabel, I changed her lifetime wand. She currently wants to reach her golden anniversary. She wants the perfect family, the perfect life. I do feel that her lifetime wand is going to change because I don't see her reaching her golden anniversary. Now, I do want to go and upgrade her give her a university education. I'm gonna go and give her the psychology degree. I can see her studying psychology, understanding how people work and also using words against people, body language against people. The psychology degree helps with the law career and then also that is a link to Carl also how she is like his personal lawyer. She helps him out. Now as a teenager she was an overachiever if I go all the way down here. So she was an overachiever and she was in the medicine career. So she had a job as a teen but she doesn't like work. She avoids it and then also really low interest in work. She, as a high society lady, really likes the laid back lazy life and she's happy being at home. But things will change. Now about Chastity and Benjamin. I checked episode 11.1 .1, season 1 and they already met. So they met in the background sometime. I don't know when. But I'm thinking that Chastity, who has a high interest in animals, confronted Benjamin at like Sinter Drip coffee shop. And then she questioned him about his laboratory and what they do there with the animals. So she confronted him, but they ended up bonding over work because she has a high interest in work. Benjamin has a high interest in work. And then also his one true hobby is tinkering and her one true hobby is tinkering. So he really likes it that she has this passion for work. Isabel, in comparison, doesn't care about work. Also with Isabel, she has a really high interest in school, so I think she also enjoyed the experience going to university. And then also, maybe she came from a family of really, really well-known lawyers, maybe even like celebrity lawyers. But she was also really close with Carlos growing up. Maybe as a young girl she saw what he was like and then she was like, he will need help in the future. She is family some. And then also I want Benjamin to go and send an invitation e-card to Kimberly as soon as he is done. Benjamin sees the connection between Kimberly and Frances. He also heard the rumors about her vacation. Now, he has a low interest in the paranormal, but he is a scientist. He researches, he invents, and he would say that a witch, someone who practices magic, also researches and invents. So the scientist in him can acknowledge the similarity between them, but also this is a big unknown, so I think that he would want her around for the birth. For protection, he doesn't know what's going to happen. Also because he's curious, he would want to know if Kimberly senses anything in the child. Can her magic tell her that there is something dangerous in the child's mind? Like can the child take over a human's mind? Anything like that? Can she sense that? Benjamin is now typing up the invitation e-card. Kimberly has arrived, we're going to automatically talk about food. And they're now talking about her vacation experience and I feel that Isabel would like that. She hasn't gone on, vac on vacation yet, but I think she would like hearing about Three Lakes. And then maybe she would say that she really wants to go on a vacation in the future, but her children are her priority right now. And then Kimberly is maybe saying, yeah, she can have some alone time with Benjamin. Okay, baby, baby, of course. So he's now talking about his experience. And then I think Kimberly is humoring him, possibly. I guess Kimberly is uh, getting used to really weird things like with magic, so she's just like, okay, well maybe, maybe aliens are real, that's a possibility. Oh, I think the landlord is here because we have to go and pay. Yeah, we forgot to go and do that. Everyone has been really, really busy, sorry about that Pete Malone. 
But Benjamin's like, yeah, sure, we can pay. Apologies. So 53 over 45, they won't become best friends soon. But they're not even friends, actually. Okay, here we go, the big moment. And Isabel's like, what, 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 what? What's going on? And Kimberly, Kimberly's like, not really reacting. Kimberly decided to go outside to go and play chess. So I'm gonna stop here and then we're gonna make you unselectable and then yeah, now the alien baby is finally on the way. Come on Kimberly, we want you to go and see. And I believe we have the little girl. Come on Kimberly. Kimberly notices the alien baby and then Isabel's like, what on earth? What on earth? He wasn't lying. So the little baby is going to be called Project, so Project Baldwin. I did consider Benjamin naming the child. He is on the nice side, but he is an inventor and the abduction was a negative memory for him. So this baby is going to be his project, Project Baldwin. This is where Benjamin asks Kimberly, hey, do you sense anything different in her? Is she dangerous? So that is why he hands her over to Kimberly. Before I forget, Pollination Technician Willow created Project Baldwin. And then this is where Benjamin just excitedly speaks about his ideas, what he wants to do with this child. And then Isabel is silent and Kimberly is simply watching Benjamin, watching what is happening. And then Benjamin decided to put down a little project right over there because he, he just needed to use the bathroom and then Isabel over here takes the opportunity to speak to Kimberly about this really just unexpected moment that they are both a bit gobsmacked about and then yeah Isabel quickly tells Kimberly you need to go and take this child and Isabel knows that she can explain Carlos's baby she can explain that but how do you explain this and then also Benjamin passing the baby off as an experiment. She's really, really afraid about the consequences of that. So she's like, Kimberly, please take this child. And Kimberly, who was the... Oh, I need to go and pause this. I'm going to go and move little project into the bedroom. Because Sophia mustn't see. So then Isabel decides to respond to Sophia and then she's like yes my darling you did well well done and then she quickly turns back to Kimberly and then Kimberly just immediately says yes like she just whispers to Isabel yes I'll do this and Kimberly says yes because Kimberly was the black sheep in her little family Samantha was favored Kimberly was and and Kimberly can see yeah Isabel doesn't want this baby around and Benjamin is going to treat this baby as an experiment so Kimberly feels for the baby so over here Isabel like admires Kimberly like saying thank you and then she goes and gives her a hug and then I'm gonna go and transfer the baby over to the cordial household. So Benjamin, who is in such a fantastic mood, he decides to go and give Sophia some attention. She didn't get that much attention from him recently. Benjamin was mostly interacting with Marcus and so now he's also upbeat and he's like, the world will be so shocked about this. They will all, they will all speak about him. And it looks like Sophia has had enough. But then, yeah, he's just so excited. And he, he wants, he really wants his children to follow in his footsteps. So that is why he just decided to go and have this quality, quality time with Sophia. And he doesn't know that Kimberly just left with the baby. Now you are busy eating and then you, you want to do your homework. Thinking about little Project Baldwin. I think we can go and do the homework and I'm not so sure if I want to do that right now because tomorrow she is a well she's leaving for university and I do want her to spend some more time with uh, oh no longer fam family friend with Gavin I wanted to go out and spend some quality time with him and it looks like little Marcus wants to do his homework as well so we can go and do that 
She's gonna do the home wreck, and then I think Benjamin, you are gonna get up. You wanna go and check on Project, and then you're gonna notice that Project is not in the bedroom. So he's gonna walk to the bedroom, and she is gonna go and follow him. And then he notices the baby is not here. So he's like, "Where's, where's the, where's the baby?" And then that is when uh, Isabel goes and tells him that. I'm afraid of the consequences of this baby, and she says that I decided to give the child to Kimberly. I mean, that is when he gets mad. So, me is gonna go and argue. <laughs> I have to go and look for that interaction. And then that is when they. Okay, I need to go and do that again. Irritate argue. That is when he gets really, really annoyed at her. And then he says he's gonna go and get the baby, and then Isabel says, Well, I'm not so sure if he will go, if she will go and divorce him. I don't think she will go and threaten that. Irritate, argue. Come on, we need to go and argue it more, Benjamin. I don't think that Isabel would threaten him of divorce, because she does want the perfect family, and divorce... <laughs> what do people say about that? People are still talking about Armand and Jessica, so she wouldn't automatically threaten him or of that. So now she just tells Benjamin to consider the consequences. So Benjamin just decides to go to bed. They didn't resolve the issues. They were just arguing for so long. And then Sophia just heard the argument. She doesn't know what they were arguing about, but she heard that they were arguing. She's like, she needs to get out of here, she needs to have some fun. And Isabel is busy snoozing in the chair. She uh, is she really tired? Yeah, she she doesn't even want to join a hobby in bed. So yeah, there are there are fractures in this relationship. Sophia, she's gonna go and sneak out and then uh, go to the coffee shop with Gavin. Sophia's gonna go and perform, and then we'll also go and see if anything is gonna happen between her and Gavin. So we're outside the coffee shop with Gavin. We are gonna go and admire, we are gonna go and entertain. Dirty jerk, I guess. We're also gonna go and ask him, do you like what you see? So let's see, relationship 99 over 34. And I think that Sophia just wants to feel a little good right now. Her parents are arguing. Oh, and they just became best friends. Oh, look at that. Connor, what are you doing? <laughs> what on earth? Seriously, Connor, what, what on earth? Wow. Oh, he likes it that she's really fit. And he's crying as well. Okay, she wants to go and do this. I wanted you to go and perform inside. But Connor, I can't believe you were so mean to Gabriel. Okay, it looks like Gavin is leaving. Yep, he's gone. Well, that was unfortunate. He was like, yeah, I really like it that you're so fit. <laughs> and then may maybe he got embarrassed because of that. But now, darling, I want you to go inside and perform. So they all continue in with the game. They're really, really into this. But the other two, Connor and Jeff, are going inside. <laughs> really didn't expect this. And also, once again, she doesn't have an audience. In the park, she didn't have an audience. And now she doesn't have an audience. And then she's just feeling so bummed. I guess Gavin was embarrassed, but but he also just, I don't know, maybe was tired, he wanted to get back to his siblings. Because he's also just really concerned about his little family unit. I'll explore that in uh, the next episode. But yeah, she's done performing, she had a great time, and then now I think she can go. This honestly isn't how I expected things to go. But she wants to go and have a drink. She wants to end her night by drinking her sorrows away, I guess. I did want her to flirt with Gavin and then potentially have a kiss. She wanted to test the waters with him. Hey, do you like me? And then he's like, yes. But then everything just fell flat for her. And then also I mentioned that... I want my teenagers to experiment, but I think most of the experimentation that a sim can get is in university. 
And I can see Tara and Sophia just dating, experimenting. They will have a lot more time for that. And I can also see them changing their one true hobbies because of university, experimenting. And Sophia is going to be back in nearly five hours. I want little Mark or Sophia to go and call up one of the uh, children he met. Okay, let's go and try that again. But then Isabel, I feel that she's going to be really upset when she finds out. Let's go and befriend Gallagher. Uh, when she finds out that Sophia left without telling her where did she go. And then she is just enjoying a bath. And then now, learn anger management. Hmm, I can see that happening. Benjamin, are you... you can get up, I feel. Yeah, get up, my dear. Study anger management, yes. You can lock that one in now. We have two uh, locks now that I upgraded her. Huh? Now, he also wants to gain a skill point, so he's thinking about improving himself. But I really do like it that he's an inventor. I'm not sure if I want him to go and get a promotion. And then also thinking about a party, I, th I think he wanted to... Get all his contacts together. He wanted his co-worker Christine to come. And then they would all like ooh and ah over the baby Project Baldwin. He's gonna go and walk out in his towel and watch TV. And Isabel just looks at him. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe they're gonna have some angry woohoo. Like they're gonna argue again. Because he's just sitting over there practically naked. So Isabel really loves Benjamin. And then she's asking, do you feel a bit bitter? And then he laughed over there. And then maybe he's been a bit sarcastic. And then she's also been a bit sarcastic. And then she is gonna go and, whoopsie, she's gonna go and irritate, argue. Money. So I think she's like, there will maybe be financial consequences. And then she's gonna go and, actually, I'm just gonna go through the casual menu. I'm gonna, gonna go and do auto woo. Isabel, I do want her up to go and confront Sophia. You're so close to graduating. And what are you doing? Then Sophia's like, oh yeah, look, a grade went down. So Isabel would be like, your, your grades are being affected. Will you be able to get a scholarship? Is everything okay? What's going on? Things are really, really interesting right now. Also, Benjamin is getting up. I will say that he is still angry with Isabel and he doesn't want to sleep in the same bed as her, so he's just getting up now. I'm sending Benjamin downstairs to go and get the mail. I'm thinking he is going to be the one who sees Sophia coming back in the middle of the, of the night and then he's like, we were you. So Sophia is like, oh hey dad, and then he goes over to her and then... Yeah, he says, where have you been? It's nearly 2 a.m. And then Sophia is like, I'm okay. I'm home. I'm safe. It doesn't matter where I went. They are going to go to bed. And I do feel that Isabel is disappointed in Sophia because she's she isn't getting an A-plus report card and she's not an overachiever. That is something that she achieved as a teenager. But Sophia is not achieving that. And then also Benjamin, he just decided to go to bed. Initially, he was like so mad, I'm not sleeping in the same bed as, as her. But then now he decided, okay, let me just go and sleep with her because I don't have a couch. He could go and snooze in the armchair, but still. Oh, little Marcus is just standing there. He wants to be read to. Also about Marcus, I was thinking about his aspiration and I feel I'm going to go with popularity. Because Benjamin really wants his children to follow in his footsteps. Benjamin has been giving Marcus a lot of attention. And then also with Marcus's bio, maybe he'll follow in his father's footsteps. And then Benjamin is a popularity sim. And then also Marcus, he, his one true hobby, his one true hobby is sports. He has a high interest in sports as well. Sports, yeah. He has a high interest in sports as well, and sports is really teamwork. So, I just feel that popularity is a really nice choice for him. 
And then you can also go and use, actually use the other bathroom, I would say, because the landlord is gonna come in to repair that. So use, take a bath. And then, oh, mother and daughter are speaking. Isabel doesn't know about her going out at night. So Isabel is all alone thinking about the woohoo from previous night. Thinking about Benjamin, thinking about the last few days, about Sophia, everything that is just happening. And it has been a few interesting some hours. The baby and Kimberly and then Benjamin, even though he was tired, he just got out of bed after the woohoo. And then arguing with his daughter. And Isabel, I feel, is just really getting worried about the family situation. Carlos of Jessica, now Benjamin and his work, Sophia, who is just rebelling. And then I think right now she would be like, only little Marcus is not disappointing her. And I was so interested in making him a pleasuresome, which would really disappoint her. But then in the end, I just felt that because of his bio and Benjamin's bio, and his nature, his one true hobby. I just felt that he would be a popularity sim. We'll see if he really follows in Benjamin's footsteps. So I think that would also worry Isabel in the future. Would he really become like his dad? I think we had good progress with learning anger management. She did lose her friendship with Marissa. Yeah, 48 over 22. Maybe she can invite Marissa over, speak about the children, speak about Marissa's business. So Marissa, we are going to invite her over, some girl on girl time. Hmm, maybe she wants Justin to meet Sophia. Hmm, there is an age gap. But I can see that happening. Oh my goodness, Justin thinks that Isabel is attractive. <laughs> oh dear. But they have a uh, uh, shared interest to food. So she is telling him all about the cooking contest. She's doing extremely well. So, let me see. An A, okay. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, something didn't go well. Isabel didn't want to hear. Uh, oh, Tara! Tara is... Tara left for university and then now she brought her over. So I think Sophia wants to go and discuss university with Tara. But she is really, really happy about her grade. It's not an A+, but Sophia is still happy. But then that is just not good enough for Isabel. Isabel would be like, this is Justin, my good friend Marissa's son, speaking about babies, speaking about little Winifred. She just had Winifred, while well, Winifred is now a toddler. But yeah, speaking about children, of course, I, I knew, I knew I would go and speak about babies. Sophia was friendly to Justin, and now she's gonna go and give her attention to Tara. She really wants to hear about university. But I do think I want Sophia to interact a bit more with Justin. Like, Isabel's gonna be like, be a good host and entertain Justin. So we are gonna go and say goodbye to Tara. Did you become friends yet? No. Okay. And of course, Justin is in the hot tub. Of course. Isabel is still busy speaking to Marissa, they are friends again, and now Marcus, you are doing extremely well, you also have an A. You're getting there, you nearly have that A plus report card, but also I need to go and make sure that Sophia heads to college. She does want that, and she is a knowledge sim. Sophia is getting a scholarship. She qualifies for the SimCity Scholars Grant. If you maintain your grades, then you will receive a grant of 1,000 simoleons to your next semester in college. So I think she is gonna go and tell Isabel, look, I got a scholarship. So Isabel is like, oh, good job. I'm happy that you got the scholarship. But she also say, but you didn't maintain your grades. I am disappointed in that. So she says that she's disappointed, but she also says that I am proud of you for getting that scholarship. You did work hard. 
So actually, let me go and do this again. So hug friendly, ignore the TV, darling. And then now 5 p.m. We are gonna go and call college. And then now we are gonna go and move. Time for her to join Tara. And Isabel is just smiling and she's so happy and she's excited for her daughter and she really wants her to do well. And she automatically turns back to the TV where I think we can go and study anger management. Now no one wants to have a birthday party. Benjamin did roll the one to the previous episode. She does want to be friends with Kimberly. She does have an interest in the paranormal. Uh, not that. Uh, paranormal, yeah. She has an interest in the paranormal, so she's really curious about Kimberly's magic. So I can see her befriending Kimberly, but I, for that, for that reason, but I can also see her befriending her just to check up on the baby, make sure the baby's okay, make sure that Benjamin is staying away from the baby. Because maybe Benjamin would, would go and visit. She wouldn't want to make sure that Kimberly informs her of anything like that. And little Marcus was thinking about his dad just before he aged up. Okay, so Marcus, you are going to follow in your father's footsteps. So popularity, Sam, he really likes accessories and great dancer. He's turned off by someone who is fit. Okay, so popularity, Sam, like his dad, and he wants to win. Oh, really? This Sam must be abducted by aliens. Do we want this to happen? But he didn't see the baby, but I'm going to lock that one in. Oh, he wants his first kiss. Finally, a teen that wants to kiss. <laughs> but who would he kiss? There's Ginger. Tara's gone, there's Ginger. Ooh, 2,500, 8,000. He is thinking about college. He's going to go and call Kimberly. He wants to speak about the baby. And then I think he has also cal calmed down a bit. I think I'll be able to handle my anger now. Okay, so we did that. And Paranormal doesn't want to speak about that. So Kimberly, I think, was saying over there, confirming that there's nothing evil in the baby. She doesn't sense anything really bad. Like, she just, she's making sure to say that again to stress it. So she brought up her magic, but Benjamin, I feel, who is, well, on the anti-paranormal side. He was curious about her magic, but now he doesn't want to go and speak about that. He really just wanted to speak about the baby, and then he probably says that he will visit soon, look at the baby. And for now, he is just going to go along with this. Accepted that this baby is now with Kimberly because he does still love Isabel. Oh, <laughs> now she wants to have a baby. Hmm. Okay, I will lock that one in. 76 over 57. I feel like Kimberly doesn't care for him as much as he does for her. He is gonna go and. Oh, he wants a cell phone. Shop online, electronic, and buy a cell phone. Looks like they are not becoming best friends. I'm gonna... Yes, I'm gonna unlock this one. And then I'm thinking... What am I thinking? I'm thinking that... Hmm... Because as I said, I, I feel they bonded about... Work. So... Chastity is really passionate about work, and then I feel that he just wants to be around someone who understands his level of commitment, his passion for his job. Really argue? Why? Like seriously, what is going on with this family? I made Benjamin argue with Sophia, but now this? Is it, is it, is it because of the cell phone? What on earth? Benjamin is so upset with everyone. Isabel, Sophia, now his son. So changing to every day. So I can't remember if I finished my thought about this. But he'll be friends with her. But I don't think he would want to be super close to her. With Kimberly. Because she's a witch. Like, you would want to have some distance between them. And then I want him to... Oh, you don't have a cell phone. 
I want you to go and call transportation. And then he is going to spend some time with Chastity at the coffee shop, Center Drip Coffee Shop. I feel that he maybe met her there. He just wants to be around someone who understands his commitment. We could have done Christine, but yes. We're gonna do this. So here we are, and he wants to go and start on this with us, Sam. He also wants to go and talk to his wife, talk chat. I'm just gonna stop them and then see what she wants to do. Yeah, we know about that. We are gonna ask again, what do you want? She wants to be best friends, know about that. And then actually, we're gonna go ask, speaking about woohoo. Uh, he wants to ask her about her job, how is everything at work, and then I think he's gonna go over here because everyone is inside and no one will see what this, what will happen. But he's just gonna go right over here. He's gonna go and ask her to slow dance. I wanted, um, oh, I wanted Sophia and Gavin to be over here, so instead, yeah. They are gonna be over here. Now Chastity, who wants multiple meaningful romantic relationships, she is giving Benjamin some comfort. That is what the slow dance means, they're just holding each other, wrapping the arms around each other. Okay, play, and then let's just do that real quick. And then any romantic ones, he has a crush on her, so flirt. No, uh, entertain. Joke? Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Maybe I should allow them to just autonomously do things. It's nearly 3am and then they are autonomously holding hands, but it's time for him to go. We're back at the apartment and I am thinking that instead of locking in the grant, we're gonna lock in the first kiss. So I'm going to think about that grant, but also if he rolls it again, then we'll really, really consider it. But everyone, once again, thank you so much for watching. I am going to end the episode right over here. Let me know what you thought about everything. I really, really enjoyed this episode. And if you liked it, please leave a like. Also consider leaving a comment and subscribing. I will really like that and it will help the channel grow. I will see you all soon in the next episode with the nuisance. So until then, everyone, take care. Pick switch out.